Oh, the flow's quite high. I got this far as a landing stage and turn around and come back. Right. This engine is pretty fully ruggedised. Okay. Basically it's just getting the trim right, keeping the propeller in the water and things of that sort. Yeah. So um, you know, it depends on where the engine is located in the boat where the skipper is sat. I'm telling you, you, need, you need ballast at the front to keep it down and then there's somebody sitting at the back to keep the water the, 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 the water. Yeah. 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 Yes, they're always in there. Yeah. Yeah. The other, one of the other factors is that uh, with a, a wind, if that's out of the water, it's like yes. a little sail. Yes. yes. And it makes the steering quite difficult. Yeah. Well, let's see. That's on 10. Okay. Usually these burners like quite a lot of pressure to get started. That's and once they get hot... Yes, you can turn it right down. Yeah. And you can reduce the gas flow quite a lot. Some of Norris's won't start unless you give it about 8 psi. And then when you're running, you're doing about 3 psi. Now this... Oh. Right. This, for some reason, I had to put a new thermocouple on. And when Did I you? tested it at home, it was well, it was all off again. I thought it was looking. Yeah, well, I. It would not light. It would not stay lit. Yeah, it's a light. And it's worked. Yep. That's all right. Right. Yeah, the cones have lifted off the burner plates and that. Right. It's probably almost start. Oh, yeah, the one difficult to detect one of the burners. Yeah, this is the trouble. Single. They are all left, right? Yep. Number one, the cones are well off the burner. Well, this, this amazing arrangement. <laughs> See, the engine now goes, and it's oh, yeah. not, that is not driving that. But if you just pull this out a bit and turn it, it goes in there and then it drives the pump. Oh, right, okay. But when you're on electric, and you can easily stop the engine with your hand. That was a nice start. Yeah, it didn't take long at all, did it? Yeah, good start, yeah. And it, it'll do about... What did we discover about... The best speeds into about 150, 130 RPM, it'll do about 250 right. bars. And you can see here, you have to read, it's now doing 140. 143, right. or whatever it is. 14 times, you add a north in the end, or yeah. the last figure as, a, as, a, as the unit. Yeah. 
and then if you put the yeah, yeah, drive in the yeah, box shaft. Yeah, I never like running engines. That cool. Well, let's say there's water in there. Yeah, we'll turn it off. We'll turn, <laughs> turn the gas off. <laughs> But being a Stirling engine, it just goes on and on and on. Text that. Yes. <laughs> it's slowing, isn't it? Yeah. Next thing, get it in the water and well, uh, not, yeah. get the water circuit working. Yes, that's the other yeah. thing. It's, it, sometimes it's no trouble. Sometimes, for some reason, what, what we often have to do, there's a pipe obviously goes on there. And, Couples on there. Yeah. The tackle there. And in order to sort of this is full now, it shouldn't take too long. Maybe you have to suck it. But once it's going, usually right. it's going. And I charged the batteries up all last night. Or not at all. No, or, or not at all. But I think the end and the end engine clunks, but I can't discover what it is. Alright, now you can have mechanically driven pump from the engine yeah <coughs> and if you do that obviously this you have to open this tap first let water in now this pumps water obviously up through here and out the back yeah so that tap would have to be open yeah but you don't want it to bypass at least so if you want to use the electric pump you turn that one off and you turn this one on that is just to let air out right so when things are pumping, if yeah. it does that, then it may go the rest of the way. There's usually, it's there's usually some sort of airlock. It usually yeah. takes a moment to do to so, get the thing. But yeah. that is first thing to do when getting it in the water is to sort out the fact that the water is yes, you know, get the water pumping. The yeah. water so you now the water pumping. There's a there's a plug and there's a switch. Yeah, that's off. One's faster, one's slow, and you can tell the hit this. Then it works off batteries at the back. Let's put the batteries yeah. in. Oh, let's tighten up. Main, main clutch. You just do that, and now you can start the engine. And nothing happens. The opposite mechanism is that. that. So, and, and this is just reverse. Oh, right. If you go, that'll go forward. If you if you just just you hold, hold it that, it'll reverse. start going, going reverse right. slowly. Okay. It'll reverse the prop. Yeah. Yeah. Should we actually power up? On dry land, yeah, like why this. not? Mm. Yeah, there's some water in there because I, I had it running. There's water in the, in the jacket, so we yeah. don't need to.